looking, man.
orders of a correctional officer will be met with deadly force.
glad I haven't lost a thing. Yes, sir, Mr. Stenger. Whatever you say. Mr. Walters? You found me. Uh, hiding in my hole. Uh, of course, uh, not much of a surprise. I'm where they told me to be. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'm starting to think I need to get used to that. Uh, when last we spoke, uh, the PA called me by name to the infirmary, they said. A lot's happened since then. The Rising, yes. Mr. Flossie didn't fabricate feelings out of nothing, though he does have a way of, of uh, fashioning frustrations and, and, and uh, coordinating courage. He can be very comprehensible. Flossie, huh? He orchestrates others. Uh, you and I, we, we know this already because we tampered precisely like he asked, uh, which makes us part of it. That tampered biocell I delivered for Flossie, what was it exactly? Source of energy, more makeshift than what they ever took from us. Made with seven strains of Teddy's love. Could give a man access again to what he was. Without which, Mr. Flossie says, we are nothing. And me handing it over to Red Shoes. That had something to do with the riot starting? Integral, yes. Gave him the ability to cloak through all their measures to liberate the violence that was locked away and flood both blocks with power and, 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 and we're all just swimming in it now. Yeah, we're all drowning. What about that suppression chip all the inmates have installed? Isn't that supposed to keep something like this from happening? The choke chokes, yes. When we exert energy, and it will mitigate. Will hurt like all hell any man who tries to use his augs to the full extent that any tampering could allow. Unless, of course, he got my fix. Your fix? The drug you've been handing out? It was designed with the riot in mind? Yes, 
Mr. Flossie wanted them to be ready. So, a prison full of drugged up and pissed off convicts with unmitigated access to their arms. At no point did that seem like a bad idea to you? At no point did Mr. Flossie ask me to formulate an opinion. Okay, so formulate one now. Uh, I... I think it's exciting. I can imagine Flossie being persuasive enough to incite something like this. The part I don't get is why. Oh, well, a man's motives mean nothing to me. I... I don't think to ask. Best planned uprising in the world, it's still suicide. It's not gonna help anyone get off this rock. Uh, certainly not, no. Most men have given up hope of leaving, and even with my special biocells, they can't sustain. Meaning, any inmates who use them are bound to burn out long before the law. So, it is suicide. That's... that's not the word Mr. Flossie used. <laughs> So now what, you sit tight and hide while all hell breaks loose outside? I... I fix for kicks. Make myself available. Whenever someone needs, I'm here to help. What kind of help are you offering? Well, let's see. A man like yourself, man of the world. I, I, uh, well, I do have one last pill. Lint-laced, but still. Still good. Good at making a man feel like himself. Interested? I've been feeling the effects of that pill of yours. It hasn't all been positive. Uh, the vision thing. It's, it's when the eyes burn behind. Not everyone likes it. How long are these side effects gonna last? Oh, that. That's a very good question. Great. You got an answer? I'm afraid not, no. I liked what the first pill did. All right, let's roll the dice a second time. This... this is exhilarating. Only man to take more than one is... is me. <laughs> Mr. Flossie told me to, to test and get it right. I, uh, I took a lot. Whatever doesn't kill us. Oh, oh it shouldn't kill you, no. It, it might, but probably not. Pretty sure. Like, 61% sure. You can still see, right? Yeah, it never felt better. Hold up. So you're saying you took the fixer's pill again? Without knowing the long-term side effects? Weren't you worried? Everyone trusts the doctor, right? Take two. What can you do? If you want anything else, you should really talk to Teddy. Experimental pills are my thing, but he's the one with the brain for business. You want me to talk to your stuffed toy? He told me to tell you to talk to him. He wants you to know he's got the shit. His, his words, not mine. All right, I'll go see what Teddy's got. Oh, and uh, Teddy says no hard feelings about the head. He would have done the same.
That's not right. Think. Try to recall clearly what you did. Hold on. So you're saying you took the fixer's pill again? Without knowing the long-term side effects? Weren't you worried? Everyone trusts the doctor, right?
contain the situation in a timely manner. Go ahead and 
double man. They're all still on right? We need reinforcements.
with anything that moves. Keep your voice down. Keep away from position. Orders given by correctional officers or automated security robots must be respected and followed. Shut up! You're gonna kill! So Agent Guerrero was still alive in solitary when you found him. What happened next? I had already managed to get the security systems controlling the door's locking mechanisms back online. To get Agent Guerrero out of his cell, I still had to unlock his door from the console in the security office. A correctional officer will be met with deadly force. Wolfus! You 
high-toned son of a bitch, you came for me. Come on, open the door and let's roll. We're not going anywhere, Agent. Not until you fill me in. Fill you in? Stenga's trying to kill me, Walthus. You want my help dealing with those terrorist attacks? We have to leave. So now you're willing to help? You might have gotten yourself on death row, Mejia, but a few more minutes isn't gonna change anything. Stenger filled me in. Said you've gone off the rails, and he's the better man for the job. Your job, with Junkyard. Mind explaining that? It's... better you don't get involved. If I don't get involved, you'll be dead tomorrow. And any chance of stopping those terror attacks will die with you. Now talk. Okay, look. I don't know what Stenger told you, but I guarantee it's all lies. Two years ago, Interpol got worried about a new player at the table. Junkyard. They needed eyes and ears on the inside, so they threw me into the deep end to go fishing. And you hooked something big. It took a while, but I eventually sniffed out that JY was into black market augs. A lot of augs. And I wanted to know where they were getting them. No points for guessing the answer. This prison. It's the operation Stengo was talking about. Ding ding, Walthus. He's been running the show for a while now, using the system to cover up a harvesting scheme. Inmates are pushed over the line, given a death sentence, and end up the next day with their augs ripped out by Worthmuller in the morgue. The Fixer is involved in this too? You're surprised? He's Stenger's little butcher boy. Whatever the man wants, what cuts it out? If you and Stenger are both supposed to be playing the same side, why would he want you out of the picture? Stenger's got power in here, but he's not Junkyard yet. He's always resented the fact I was jumped in. With me gone, he thinks he can take my place on the ladder. I don't know. He doesn't strike me as the kind of man who can run something like this. Oh, you'd be surprised. A hammer ain't shot, but it can still get the job done. I got JY to send me in. But make no mistake, with the power of the so-called justice system behind him, this is Stenger's ship. Who and what gets harvested? It's his call. No one tried to stop him? Stenger can't murder inmates at will without someone taking notice. He can when he hides behind the state of Arizona's terminal violation policy. It's okay to destroy a dangerous AUG, right? Especially one in prison. Lately, though, three strikes for pretty much anything will get you a trip to Hole 6. Hole 6? Stenger moves the bodies from here to be carved up at the infirmary by the Fixer. They use maintenance tunnels under the prison to keep it all out of sight. I'd be dead and diced by sunrise if it wasn't for you. If you hadn't declared yourself Dark Opal, we would have been able to contact you without all this trouble. Why didn't you just tell Interpol what was going on and let them deal with it? I went Dark Opal so the suits couldn't fuck things up. Interpol isn't interested in the long game anymore. They want immediate results. So it's okay for you if this harvesting ring continues? That's not what I'm saying. Junkyard have some impressive shit going on. If we let them know we're onto them now, they'll just vanish somewhere else and I'll lose what I've been working for all this time. So we just insert another agent. We did it once, we can do it again. It's not that easy. Interpol pushed me under what? Two years ago and I'm only just starting to reap the rewards. Junkyard are huge on loyalty from both sides. Trust me, it takes time and pays well to look after that. Stenger seems convinced you killed Wilberg. You're saying you weren't involved at all? What? What are you talking about? I told you. Stenger has it in for me. I wasn't even near Wilberg's cell that day. I was on shift cleaning that fucking shower like always. Besides, the sentry took him out. Do I look like a fucking robot to you? All right, I've heard enough. Terror attack or not, you're not doing anyone any favors by dying in this cell. Time to leave. I ain't gonna argue with that. Lead the way, Jose. You got an escape plan? The transport I came in on yesterday should still be on the roof. Can you fly? No need. The prison birds run on automated flight paths to stop hijackers. We can just hack the route. As long as the security systems are shut down, we'll be free to fly out of here and sip pina coladas all the way to Panama. Okay, sounds like a plan. I'll take care of the flight path. No, let me go to the tower. 
I know where to break into the system. Old school. I'll have just enough time while you handle the rest. There are two turrets on the roof, and an aircraft tracking system that you'll need to disable. There's an override in the warden's office. All right, what about Stenger? As long as he doesn't get to JY before I do, there's no problem. Hey, uh... I'm happy you're here, man. You have no idea. I'll see you at the landing pad. Good luck. Task Force protocols dictate that you should have called for an immediate extraction. Going against protocol could have jeopardized the mission. If Agent Guerrero was right and our intel was wrong, then the mission had changed. Terror attack or not, Agent Guerrero wasn't going to be any help if he was dead. 